Okay, quick test. Try tickling yourself right now. Go on. Under the armpit, back of the neck, feet, wherever you're most ticklish. Nothing, right? It's like your brain saying, nice try, genius. But why? I mean, it's your finger, your skin, so why isn't it working? Is your body just immune to your own comedy? Did your brain install an anti-tickle firewall? Let's crack this weird little mystery before you sprain your elbow trying. So here's the deal. Tickling works because it surprises your brain. It's like a sneak attack, a jump scare for your skin. When someone else tickles you, your brain screams, incoming, weird touch, laugh to survive. Okay, maybe not that dramatically, but close. Now when you try to tickle yourself, your brain already knows what's coming. It's like watching a horror movie when you already Googled the ending. No jump scares, just now. You're cerebellum. Yeah, that little lumpy guy in the back of your brain is the real MVP here. It helps predict your own movements. So when your finger moves in for a tickle ambush, your cerebellum is like, relax, that's just us. No need to freak out. It's like trying to sneak up on yourself in a mirror. Nice try, ninja, but you're not fooling anyone. So can you tickle yourself? Short answer, nope. Long answer, not unless you have brain damage. But let's not go there, okay? Your brain is basically too smart for your own fingers. It cancels out the tickle signal before it even leaves the station. But hey, on the bright side, at least you never have to worry about accidentally tickling yourself in public. That'd be awkward. Now go tickle a friend with consent, obviously. And if they ask why it works, just tell them, because their brain didn't see it coming. Subscribe for more weird facts your brain didn't see coming.